Welcome to the recaps of episodes 12 and 13 of the Pillow Book, also known as Eternal Love of Dreams for some reason. Before we begin, if you would like to see the previous recaps, the link is down below. And just like the video title indicates, these recaps will be short. And if you're looking for a detailed report and in-depth analysis, you will also find them utterly and absolutely unhelpful. Alright, let's begin. Episode 12, Feng Ji was camping in the mortal pass, making sure Dong Hua's trial is going properly and waiting for the girl who's supposed to be Dong Hua's love trial to show up. On one of those days, she turns in some weapon designs just like own time, hoping they would help Dong Hua in some way. Now he looks at them for a while and appears to like them. Although, if you ask me, he looks like he's staring at a fast food menu. One night, too frustrated that the beautiful girl with the birthmark on her forehead who pushed him into the lake still hasn't been found, he decides to visit this worn down, dark and super creepy abandoned building, hoping to find her there. Uh, yeah, look, I support your determination to look for the love of your life or whatever, but if you happen to find someone who lives here voluntarily, I don't know, maybe think about running a criminal background check on them first? Back to the Star Lord, aka Su Ming, he comes to inform Feng Ji one day that due to her meddling earlier on, the girl they have chosen to be Dong Hua's trial has died. And the only way to fix this, or in Su Ming's own word, to untie the knot of fate, is to have Feng Ji take her place and be Dong Hua's love trial. And the plan is to fully crush Dong Hua's heart. So basically we're watching an extended version of this? Anyway, at first, Feng Chiu's a little understandably reluctant, but then just like the rest of us, she's like, sure, whatever it takes for him to get his original hair color back. There is another problem, of course, because Princess uh, Qi Heng is also wanting to get Dong Hua's attention. I'm not sure at this point if her plan is going to be important or not, but anyway. We have two very different dynamics with the three of them. With Feng Chiu, Dong Hua is like this. But somehow with Qi Heng, he wants to explore classical music? This is 